Why, hello, hello, and welcome to something I like to call 3DS Max Quickies. Uh, we're doing some stuff in the kitchen, and hopefully these uh, videos will be five minutes or less. Alright, first one we're going to start off is a uh, meat cleaver. Alright, so first of all, let's go into our uh, shapes, and then we're going to choose the rectangle. And get this started in the uh, top viewport here. Just go ahead and create it and then change our parameters for the rectangle. Length should be 80. Width is going to be 170. And corner radius we're just going to keep at 0 for the time being. Uh, editable spline. Right click convert to editable spline. Alright, and then we're gonna go to vertex. We're just gonna make a little uh, windowed selection here with the little marching ants. Select one of the top corners. Scroll down in your... we're going to fillet right here. This nice thing called fillet. And then we actually want it to fillet 19.0. And then just hit enter on the keyboard. And voila, you now have a rounded corner. Next step here is we're going to actually take our spline and we're going to extrude it. Let's go with um, 3.0. Alright. And then after that, convert it to the editable poly. Either you can do this by right clicking or just go to the polygon modeling and then click on convert to poly. It does the same thing. Alright, and then we're going to select a couple of these vertices here. Now I'm going to scroll into my left viewport so I can uh, isolate these vertices. I want th to make it into like a blade kind of shape. So I'm just gonna push them back and voila we have a sharpened blade. Totally awesome, right? Alright, and then after that we are gonna make the handle of our knife. So we're gonna make a box. So go to the create tab, go to geometry and box. And of course we're going to make this in the top viewport. It's about right. And then uh, adjust the parameters. 32 for the length. Two hundred twelve for the width and we're just going to turn the height up to eight um, and we need some segments in there to help adjust the roundness at the edge of the handle so five five and seven and convert to poly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move some of the uh, vertices around to make it look a bit more knife like. Alright, first of all, I gotta. Alright, now we're going to move some vertices around. Start off in the top viewport. Move it around so it, it will end up looking a bit more curved. There we go. That gives us a nice curve there. I want some of those. Let's go with uh, these top three here. Or actually, these uh, these top four. 
There it is. Alright, this would be the point in time to go ahead and work in your perspective viewport. So you can make your selections easier. And we're just gonna move these a bit. Move it a bit on the bottom as well. To give us kind of a softer edge. Alrighty. Alright. And once we're done with that and we get it to the amount of curve that we wish to have there, go ahead and go to the modifier list. Go down here, scroll down here to mesh smooth. And we're going to go with three iterations. Alright, and then we're going to repeat this process. Um, over here on the blade part of the knife. And the reason for this, I believe, is that um, when you're chopping through stuff, you have to have a certain amount of aeration, or whatever that is called, that chefs call it, so that um, your food doesn't get stuck to the knife quite as easily. So we're going to take care of that. Compound objects, boolean, pick operand B, Click on our cylinder, and voila. Done and done. We've got the basic shape of our knife. And if you want to move on, you can go ahead and texture it however you would like. Thank you very much, and uh, join me next time for part two. Woohoo!